Hey, good day, folks. I'm Marty, also known as Raging Owlbear on social media, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about Car Wars. I thought I was going to do a little more tabletop role-playing stuff in D&D, but here I am talking about Car Wars again. Well, and also Gaslands, which is not there. Right there. There. That whole mirror image thing kind of freaks me out. Anyways, um, yes, Gaslands and Car Wars, and more specifically, um... Doing some very quick and dirty terrain for them because uh, one of the things that um, that I've realized that I kind of not well need is a strong word but one of the things I wanted is um, some sort of modular road sections and uh, and I did in the Car Wars Kickstarter get the uh, uh, the tiles which are you know these these cool sort of puzzle piece bits that you can put together and uh, you know uh, they have this sort of wasteland deserty. Uh, scheme, but I wanted something that was, you know, and, and there's these straights and the straights and curves and, and some other, you know, sort of uh, com configurations, but I wanted something a little bit, uh, a little bit more modular just uh, for putting down on a battle mat, something that I could also put on a background that wasn't necessarily desert or, or whatnot. And um, I found this stuff on Amazon, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, there's, there's a couple of, there's actually a couple of, uh, solutions out there on Amazon. One of them is actually like a really nice like mouse pad style road sections and they're they run I think between thirty and forty dollars depending and, and uh you know it's a fair amount of road sections that are pretty nice. Um one of the drawbacks I did read about them is that they can become creased during shipping so it might be difficult to if some of them are creased to you know get them to lay flat again. Um, but what I found is this other sort of pretty inexpensive solution, um, especially if you have some crafting tools around the house. And that is these uh, this little road tape. Now this is meant for you to sort of purchase for your kids for the Hot Wheels and, and whatnot. Um, and you can tape it on your hardwood floors or or you know the linoleum in the kitchen or wherever wherever you have like a, a a surface that's hard that the kids want to play on um even on a on a table um because it's this really like uh, not quite masking tape it's this very very thin tacky tape um that you know can actually peel back off and so you can actually put it down pull back off and you can put it down again if you are careful to sort of preserve the adhesive um, and it comes in these straight sections. You can buy a roll of just straight, or you can buy a roll that comes with a, a, a straight, the straight roll and a nice set of like curves. So, um, I was like, yeah, you know, I, let me, let me check this out. Um, so I, I wanted to turn these into sort of modular pieces that I could lay out on the table. So I, I got some, I had some cardstock. You know, I, I do a bit of crafting on the side for my gaming and whatnot. So I had some cardstock on the side. So I first, I you know, I got out sort of the basic, like, uh, cardboard from, um, you know, obviously a 12-pack a, a of, of Pepsi or whatnot. Um, but also, you know, uh, cereal boxes work for this. Um, you know, any kind of sort of food packaging that has that really, you know, that really very, very thin cardstock. Um, and then I had some, you know, uh, other like food, like uh, cardboard that has the very, very thin, you know, it's, it's, it's not quite the shipping box cardboard because it's pressed a little bit thinner. Um, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit denser and, and slightly stronger, um, you know, and this is obviously from a Greek yogurt package, but you know, there's various different. Um, and then I had this, uh, I had this other card, card stock that, um, Actually, if, let me get a full sheet um, that I use for crafting this sort of square cardstock. Um, and I did some test pieces uh, of the straightaways to see what would work best. Um, and, you know, one of the things that, uh, so, you know, and there's advantages and disadvantages to the various items. Now, first was the, the very, very thin um, sort of uh, cereal box or soda. 12 pack cardstock. Um, and the obviously the advantage to this is that it is super, super thin. So if you lay it down on your play surface, you're not going to get, you know, the, the, it's going to be pretty, you know, uh, flush with the play surface. 
the disadvantage with this is you have to be very precise with your cutting. So if you want if you want a nice straight edges, um, you know, you really have to to measure twice, cut once kind of action you got to be. And the other thing is is that because it's it's thin, it could warp over time um, as paper can absorb moisture in the air. It might start to bend. Um, and so you're going to have to find a way to tack it down, you know, with maybe some double sided sticky taper. You, you, but you're going to have to find some solution to get it to stay flat on the table and and not move around. Um, and all of these have a little bit of that issue about not moving around. So you, you do have to come up with some solution. So I, I, I like the thinness of it, but I decided not to use this cause it's just a little bit too, I think it's a little bit too flimsy for a lot of use. And, and I think it will warp over time. And, and, you know, so I, I would have had to come up with a way to, to keep it flat and to keep it stuck down. Um, then I tried the, the really thick, um, that, well, really thick. I mean, it's not that thick. It's, it's, you know, still pretty thin. It's a single, single layer cardboard. And, uh, this is nice cause it is, it's very solid. Um, it's less likely to have any warping issues. Um, the difficulty again is getting these sort of very clean cut edges, which are not always easy, um, with a utility knife, you know, so you really need to, to be, you know, a one, a number one crafter, get those straight lines, you know, cut, make sure you measure, you know, I, I was going for 12 inch pieces. Um, and you know, I, I did have some, I was pretty good at, at making sure my corners were pretty square and whatnot, but you know, it was still, it's a little bit of work to make sure you have perfectly good right angles. And, and, you know, again, you kind of have this ragged edge that you have to deal with. Um, so it's not the most, it's not the prettiest of them, but it is maybe the more durable. The only difficulty is that if it does get a crease because it's that sort of corrugated cardboard, you know, it, you can't really decrease it once, once, once it'll, if it bends, that bend mark is going to be there forever. Even if you bend it back, you're going to be able to, you know, you're going to see it. You're going to see that bend mark. Um, I don't know how much of a drawback that is. Um, but you know, again, it, it's up to you. Then I went to the card stock. Now, one of the things I realized real quickly about the card stock, which, which, which works perfectly is these uh, road sections are four inches wide. They're, they're roughly Hot Wheels scale. They're four inches wide, so Hot Wheel fits. Let me grab one. You know, pretty nicely in, in a lane. You know, there's a little bit of give on the left and right. Um, and if you're playing with the Car Wars bases, you know, I, I didn't have one in... I wasn't thinking it's there's not one within reach, but if you're playing with a cardboard basis, it does pretty much take up the full width between the white lines. So there's a little bit of give if two vehicles are passing lane on lane uh, across each other. But but the, the car wars bases are a little bit wider, obviously, than a Hot Wheel. So it does take up pretty much the whole lane. And uh, that's actually not uh, that's not necessarily. Um, that far different than the road section is provided by Steve Jackson. There's a little bit more give in these simply because they're just a tiny bit wider, you know, um, lane to lane. You get maybe a quarter inch more space, you know, above or below what, you know, depending on how you line it up, but they're pretty close. Um, so that, that was one of the things that was kind of a, a nice seller for me is that, you know, if you had to, you could have these on the same table. Yeah, there would be a little, there'd be these sort of funky gaps where you have the puzzle pieces. But be that as it may. Um, so, but the, again, the nice thing about these square cardstock pieces that, that, and I'll, that you get these on Amazon, I'll put a link below the video, um, is that they're 12 inches by 12 inches. And these roads are exactly four inches, which means you can lay three across the tile and then cut these nice straight long lines. Now, what I opted to do 
and and again these uh these these little uh rolls of road there's about 30 feet of roadway on this um and you get 12 they they promise 12 curves but depending upon how the 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 tape is cut you can sometimes get 13 you know it's usually 12 in a fraction um because they when it doesn't cut perfectly evenly at the end um but yeah you can get as many as 13 curves on a roll but the nice thing about it again is that these are four inches wide so they fit three across if you're cutting pieces and now what i decided to do is i wanted both sort of the single lane roads and a little bit of like a highway action. Um, so I laid three across, but what I did is I left a tiny, I kind of very tightly overlapped the, the two for the highway and then left a little, just a very, very, very teeny, tiny bit of brown that I could see between the, the, the two lane highway and those th- and the, and the single lane highway so that it had have a nice cutting guide. I could see it just enough cardboard. I left it just a sliver of cardboard between the two sections so that when I had my utility knife, I could just sort of eyeball it down. You know, I, I, I used a ruler to sort of help me keep it straight, but, but I could just, I could do it, you know, just by looking if I was very careful and a very, and you have a very sharp utility knife that'll pass through. Um, and you know, make sure you have, um, obviously a surface underneath, that will, you know, not get marred up by the blade, you know, use a, a thick piece of cardboard, or obviously if you have a cutting mat, that that's even better. Um, and I do, I have a cutting mat because that's, I, I craft stuff like this. Um, but so it made a really nice way to create a single highway and a, and a double lane highway that, you know, they're exactly 12 inches long. So they're great scale. Um, for for the the car wars or gas lands um and you know i have 30 feet of this tape so you know this is three feet i can make 10 of these boards roughly now you do lose a little bit because i wanted to wrap the ends to make sure that the tape didn't sort of peel up so i did wrap the ends and then you probably want to add a little like glue or something to, you know, make sure that it doesn't start to peel off on its own. So, you know, I, I did, so you, you're going to lose a little bit. Um, so you may not get 30 whole feet of roadway, but you're not going to need 30 whole feet. So, you know, I'm going to make about, um, five of these. So, you know, or maybe, maybe six, but maybe anyways, somewhere between 10 to 15 feet of roadway this way and then that leaves me with a whole bunch of singles as well so you know again i I could cut if i if i have you know eight of these boards let's say so so leaving some some loss at the ends for the wrap for the end wrap um you know i cut eight of these boards i only need about 24 feet of the tape and then the other, you know, and then I can use the other bits of tape for, for other things. And actually, let me get to that, too. So, yeah, great, great for straightaways. Now, let's get to the curves. So, these curves are 90-degree turns, and they're very tight. They happen, the turn happens in less than six inches. So that's about a five-inch um, so I, uh, I laid out, I cut, I l- took the boards, laid it out in six inch pieces and I'm experimenting with different, you know, basically either a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, straight away that I'm going to add before and after, before and after the curve. I then did one with a curve right up against the corners. Um, and then again, you know, again, using just testing with straight away. And actually you can see with this one. I actually already added the the extra straightaway to so so it would fill out like sort of the six inch corner card, um, but the ninety degree turn is tight. So um, when you compare it to, um, you know, the sort of the Steve Jackson, um, and again their their tiles are not quite a full twelve inches. They're 
I guess uh, about 10 inches, I guess. They're about 10 by 10s. Um, but yeah, their, their turn is, I can't do this. <laughs> Which direction do I go? <laughs> their turn is not quite as tight. Their, their curve is not quite as tight as, uh, as these. Now you can mitigate that a little bit. So what I ended up doing for one of the test pieces, um, that is on the floor here, hold on. What I ended up doing for one of the test pieces is I cut, I took the curve and cut it directly, directly down the center, uh, you know, right, right across the center to make it into two slightly, like 245 degrees. And then I added a little bit of straightaway in between. So it mitigates the curve just, just a bit. It's still fairly tight curve. But, it, you know, I used up the full six inch width of the, the half cardstock. Now, the other thing is you could experiment with a little bit more. You could cut it into three sections and use a little bit more than six inches. So you get a little bit more of a gradual sort of gentle curve if you wanted to try that. Um, so, you know, maybe it curves out from the midpoint here to, you know, the midpoint here if you, if you were to line these things and so you could you could create a gradual curve but it's obviously going to involve a little more cutting of the straightaway and the curve maybe the cutting the curve section into three pieces and then cutting the straightaways and maybe even triangulating do a little bit of triangular cuts on the straightaways to sort of create a more gradual curve so for curves it's a little bit more you have to do a little bit more work um, but honestly laying out some of these cards didn't take very long at all. Um, you know, I, uh, the, uh, the, the straightaways, I could do a card in, in five minutes, if even that long. I mean, it was super quick. The curves, if you're going to do a lot of cutting and, you know, trying to create a, a nice arc where you draw it on and then you see if you can, you know, cut and paste bits and whatnot, and whatnot that, that's going to take you a little longer. But in general, um, you know, it's it's a it's a decent way to make little modular road sections for scenarios that aren't necessarily covered by what you get with the, the Steve Jackson road tiles. Or again, you may not want desert. You may want some greenery. You may have a I have a tabletop that has a terrain map already on it. I mean, like just a vinyl nice grass and rock sort of modeled mat and I could put these road tiles right onto it. Now, again, because all of them are cardstock, whether you're using the thin or the thick, you will need something to sort of keep them from sliding around. Um, I do have these little clips from, um, another terrain system that I have that I'm going to see if those work. But you could also take those little glue dots, which are those just little, they're like the little silicon um, circles, basically. And they're just, they're tacky. They're not really, I mean, you can get the permanent ones, but you can get the ones that are non-permanent. And you can just put them on the corners and just, you know, you tack them down, put it on whatever um, terrain you're using if if it's you know will work with that kind of sticky dot or on the table you can just put it on the table um but, so there are ways that you can kind of mitigate the fact that these are going to slide around a little so you do have to think about that you have to plan um i'm probably just going to use the, the glue dots or sort of a double side stick tape because um, again i have a vinyl mat that i can just put these on um if i'm doing a game so um I was going to try to switch the other camera and do one really quick, but, you know, I, th I think it's going to take the, uh, the video a little bit too long for this. Um, and honestly, it's not, it's not difficult. You know, the, really the, the tricky part is that when you have the card stock and you're, you know, just like when you're working with any kind of masking tape and you pull out a long, long piece of it, you just have to very gently and the great thing about this is because it's supposed to be reusable tape for your kids. Um, it does peel up pretty easily. So if you don't get it perfect the first time you can kind of peel it up, you know, maybe start to get a bubble or a crease, just gently 
work one edge. That's that's the key. Is work. Take one of these. Take one of the pre-cut edges of your cardboard. And this is why I like the pre-cut cardboard rather than cutting your own. Because if your edge isn't straight on the cutting your own, it's obviously more challenging. So you can line up the the, the line here, the edge of the tape with the edge of your cardboard. Be very, you know, very careful and just kind of inch it along, you know, just very, very gently adjust, adjust, adjust. And then when you think you've got it, kind of push down on the corner here, push down on the corner here, and then work any bubbles or any issues, you know, just like gently peel it up and lay it down. It's not difficult. Um, and again, I was going to do this on camera, but, um, it just, I, I think this video is going to be running on too long. So check these out. Uh, I'm going to put links below the video on the blog. Um, these are a great way to make, you know, modular road sections. And, you know, again, you got the curves, you got the straightaways you can buy. You can buy the straightaway alone. You don't have to buy the, the, the curves plus the straightaway or just under $15. I think it runs between $13 and $15. The straightaways alone are about $9 to $10, depending upon, you know, Amazon, how Amazon pricing fluctuates a bit. Um, and then, you know, you can buy this this cardboard bits. Um, well, I, I don't recall how much, but it's not much for these cardstock, uh, for a stack of this cardstock. And, you know, you can use it for other crafts or other other projects as well as your road sections. So um, this is one of those things where if you have some of the materials already, you have if you have a utility knife, um, you know, and it's just those the slide out utility knives that people use to cut carpet or or whatnot. Um, if you have a utility knife already, if you have, you know especially if you have the cardstock already or do, do a little bit of crafting. This is obviously no brainer because you're not having to pay for extra materials that you're not going to use or extra tools that you don't already have. Um, but you know, you, you, again, you can, you could use, if you had really, you know, these are a little bit hard to cut through with scissors. They're a little bit thick unless you have really, really good scissors, but you could do it. Um, it is possible, but a utility knife, honestly, is, you know, is, is good for many uses. So go out and buy one anyways. <laughs> so, you know, again, you, if you, you could buy the really nice, you could buy the really nice, um, uh, mouse pad style ones that they have on the net. You spend about 35 to $40 depending. Um, you can of course, uh, order, you know, Steve Jackson is now is, is taking orders for the road tiles. Um, you want to get on in on these because they're they're printing more or they you know, they may be actually the, their pre order was going on right now. I don't know how many of these are going to have in stock once all the Kickstarter is fulfilled. Um, so if you're looking to uh, to look at purchase these, go to the Steve Jackson games web store um, and see, you know, what they have in stock or what you can pre order. I'm pretty sure they'll have more eventually up on the store, even if they sold out of their pre-order. Um, and, but you know, honestly, these things again, you get you pay fifteen dollars for the tape, um, and you're going to pay a little bit for the cardboard. So you know, it depends on if you think you're going to get the value out of it. Uh, you know, I like this. Now they also have this tape. These are obviously the four inch tape. They also have this in a two inch variety for smaller scale vehicles. So if you have something like a micro machines or whatnot, or if you wanted to make a single rain road, now granted it still has little white markers down the middle. So you maybe have to paint them out or whatever, but you could create a single lane road with the two inch variety that they have of this stuff. The two inch variety also has a sheet of, other things like crosswalk markers and some other like street, um, you know, what do you call it? Just markings and, and things on it. So it might be worth picking up the one that has the sheet of all the stuff because you could add some of those decals onto your, your other roadway too. Um, if you're doing like a city with crosswalks, I mean, that's, that's one of the things that is a little bit challenging is, is that like with, with a four way intersection, you kind of have to figure out, You'll have to, you know, play around with cutting it up just so you get like a nice 
looking intersection. I'm going to, I'm going to mess around with that and see what I can get done. But right now I just have my straight pieces and a few of the curves that I've been experimenting. Anyways, um, gone on way too long, probably for what should be a really quick video, but all the links are going to be down below. Um, if, if you need a, a very simple module or road section thing, this is a, this is a good way to go. I mean, you can spend the, the money for the slightly nicer one, obviously. Um, but you know, if you're looking for something pretty down and dirty and you have the tools available to you, then, uh, definitely check this out. Um, you know, the, again, the last thing is that because these are tape that are supposed to be removable, you'll have to sort of be aware of, you know, again, the tape trying to curl up on you after who knows how long it might be. But, you know, if you use like a, a very light bead of glue or something along the lines, just to sort of seal it down. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. As I've been Marty, I'm also known as the Raging Owlbear, or just Raging Owlbear on social media. Look for me on Twitter. Um, obviously, I have the blog and these videos that you're watching. Um, but I also talk have like written blog text stuff. If, you've, if you're just watching this on YouTube, you can go out to my text blog, talk about D&D, talk about all kinds of stuff. Um, give me a like. Give me a subscribe. That stuff really helps me out. Um, I hope you've stayed on this long I should probably say those things at the beginning of the video, but you know what to do. So follow me on Twitter, like me and subscribe me on YouTube. I'm out on Twitch too, you know, say hello on Twitch. Um, watch me stream some video games from time to time. Not all the time, but from time to time. Anyways, um, have a good day, have a good evening, have a good morning, whatever time it is that you happen to be watching this. And, uh, and go out and craft and have some fun playing. No, not that. Over there. Gaslands or car wars. Shoot 'em ups with with cars because it's fun. And you can do Hot Wheels and you can paint them and do all kinds of crafting fun stuff with them. So uh, see you around the net. Have a good day.